Hey guys, it's Todd, the Cybertruck Truck Guy, and I wasn't planning on doing a video today, but then on my YouTube feed, this really pretty awesome video, teaser video for the GM EV Hummer truck hit, and I thought I would do a quick reaction video to it because honestly, I'm pretty impressed with the little bit I see so far, so I wanna talk through it, and the easiest way to do it is a reaction video. Now you can see here on the screen that they give you this little tease of the silhouette. And I'm going to start the video from the beginning and I'll commentate on it as we go through it. But I wanted to start here with the silhouette because I wanted to point out that I the thing that I'm I'm very excited about is I can tell based on the the wheel well distance between the wheel well and the tires and the overall size of it relatively speaking this is not going to be a big truck this is going to be a medium size to full size pickup truck i think it's going to be somewhere between the rivian and the cyber truck there's a lot of reasons why i think this is a brilliant move from general motors so number one this is brilliant because it's not going to cannibalize any of their existing gas lines. Now, I know if you're a huge EV fan, you're hoping for the death of all gas vehicles. But the bridge that it looks like to go from gas to electric vehicle needs to be a bridge that doesn't hurt the existing car maker sales so much that um, they can't stay in business. This is a sweet spot because the Hummer brand is a premium brand. So people already are knowing they're going to be paying a premium. This isn't going to be competing in the, the standard pickup truck market. And they built this from the ground up. Unlike the F-150 videos we've seen, which looks just like basically a Ford pickup truck with a big giant battery on it. This is a ground up redesign for General Motors. I'm going to have to say, based on everything I've seen, how much money GM is putting into batteries, the partnerships they've announced, this vehicle, I think GM, I think they're really starting to take EV seriously. This is a truck I am really excited to get my hands on and check out. So, Let's start at the beginning, and I will explain to you what, why I'm so excited about this, why I think this is going to be great for the EV truck community as a vehicle. The real revolutionaries. Okay, you don't think anything about this, do you? All right, LeBron James is a very controversial figure. If you think of politically, Truckland, what do people, who are they thinking in Truckland is a good brand ambassador? LeBron James is the opposite of the kind of person you think would appeal to older, rural, um, white guys, okay? Not only is LeBron James black, but he's been noticeably outspoken on issues related to race in America. He's not a shrinking violet when it comes to um, his political opinions. He is not the guy you would think they would choose to be their brand ambassador for a truck. But this is what's super interesting. I mentioned a study in one of my most recent videos about the Cybertruck being the third most popular pickup truck, but the reality is it wasn't. It was last when they were asking existing pickup truck owners which kind of truck they want, but it was first in people who want to buy a pickup truck but doesn't have one. And so it ended up putting them in this weird third position, or it might have been second. But the point is, electric trucks are expanding truck land significantly and the kind of people that are going to be most interested in buying a electric vehicle are probably going to be urban and affluent and so here i mean tip of the hat to gm having lebron be your brand ambassador on this is brilliant just brilliant all right i just had to mention that because for most of you that would go right over your heads but it's a big freaking deal ones that changed the game forever. Thousand horsepower. Understand. Eleven trend. five pound feet of torque. It's never okay. Enough. Infinity. Oh, oh, I wanted to point this out. So one of my 
criticisms of the Cybertruck is that, yes, you have this glass roof, but it's not open air. The, the GM vehicle is going to have an open air infinity roof. I don't know exactly know how that means, but I think that's, that's cool. Zero to 60 in three seconds. Imagining. Seeing the world not as it is. Okay. This is, uh, uh, this is footage captured from them when they were designing their initial rendition. What I love about this is this is proof that they really did a ground up redesign specifically for electric vehicles. Big deal. Big deal. This is going to be way more attractive as a vehicle because they're designing it around electric vehicles. And this look, this this high wheel wells, uh, this is designed to go off-road. This is designed to be a very off-road capable vehicle, I think, based on the design it is. So, um, and size-wise, it's gonna have some advantages over the Cybertruck. For how it could be. Okay, look at that. Oh man, that this reminds me of the classic um, Bronco conversion trucks with the removable sunroof panels. This is, I think, GM hit this one. This is now the truck I'm most excited about besides the Cybertruck. Um, I am really, really excited about this vehicle. That's how true greatness is realized. That is how you change the world. I don't know what crab mode is. I think it has to do with terrain control. Oh man, it all goes through there so fast. Let's see if we can. Okay, so I'm going to stop adrenaline mode. That's probably like cheetah mode or just not economy mode. Okay, I think what crab mode is, is probably where it can mimic locking differentials for off-road, I think. Altium battery, they've talked about their batteries before, that, no big deal. This is going to be interesting, super fast charging. Now, I wonder if it's going to be 250 kilowatt hour or faster. Next gen super cruise. I think most people would say that in the world of um, self driving or or adapt uh, uh, advanced driver assistance, the super cruise, the GM super cruise one, is neck and neck with um, Tesla right now. So this is next gen. So again, they're taking autonomy. I'm. This is really very interesting. Um, even when using Super Cruise drives, this is, oh, this is just saying it's not full self-driving. Infinity Roof, I mentioned that. I like it. Modular scale. Oh, ultra, did it say ultra vision cameras? Yeah, ultra vision, ultra vision cameras. Interesting. I don't know what that means. Okay fall of 2020 so it's i mean production begins in 2021 mm. so i showed this one and then they're going to have an suv uh, chassis i okay well you kind of know where i stand just based on my um my reaction to this video so far but i think this is to me this is Rivian and this is Rivian and Chevy. They're they're going to be battling for this demographic because <clears throat> I think the Cybertruck. I'm going to do another video on it, but I don't think these are. I don't think Cybertruck reservation holders are going to be um, likely. Now, a bunch, some of them will definitely switch over to this, but I don't think they're like we're going to see a mass exodus over to this. But I think this potentially is the real legitimate first major worthy competitor because GM has much more capacity to scale in terms of its existing plant infrastructure and its labor force and a bunch of other variables that Rivian doesn't have. 
and I think they're targeting very similar markets. And now it comes down to price. It says it's going to have 400 mile range. It's not going to be cheap. I guarantee you. That's why they use the Hummer brand. That's why they're focusing on performance. It's not going to be cheap. My guess is entry level 60, 65 would be my guess. They're going after Rivian right now. And they're going they're going to get a foothold in this market and make a name for themselves. I am extremely impressed and I am extremely excited to get my hands on one of these to try them out. So exciting. Um, okay, that's it. Live stream tomorrow night at eight o'clock. Like always, I'll I'll put a little like tentative outline of the things I'm going to be talking about and uh, we'll see you later. Bye.